What's going on, Salt Strong Nation? I just wrapped up an awesome morning of wade fishing here in Baffin Bay. Got onto a bunch of redfish, even managed to pick up a trout in the mix as well. But I wanted to answer a quick question that I got asked by an insider the other day, and that was, why do you choose to wade when you control or drift or do some other form of fishing? Wading seems really slow. Why would that be your preferred method to fish a shoreline? And my answer to that is it's probably the best way to get the most out of a shoreline. In terms of how we're gonna be approaching different types of areas, wading allows you to get into the right depth. We know most redfish and trout are going to be feeding in less than about three, four feet of water, which is wadeable for most of us. And it's also going to allow us to really uh, adjust our positioning well. So when you're on a trolling motor, you might get caught up in the wind and you might have to fire that motor up and that can spook a bunch of fish off. But being able to just wade and plant yourself in one spot, fish a certain cut, fish a specific form of structure without having to worry about your kayak or your boat drifting or worrying about firing up the trolling motor too hard. That's an advantage I see in wade fishing, but probably the most important is that you're extremely stealthy when you do it. Again, as I just mentioned, the trolling motor has a propensity to really scare fish off, especially if you're running it at higher speeds, which there is a little bit of wind out today and I would have had to use my trolling motor at a higher speed than I would have been comfortable with when I was fishing a shoreline. So not only am I able to get into position properly, I'm able to do it really quietly. And when I'm go after species like trout uh, specifically, they can really pick up on any kind of vibration in the water that's not natural. Redfish will as well, but they're not as sensitive as trout. So when I get up on shorelines like this, I'm able to really move slowly, get up on those fish. Some of the fish that I caught today, I caught within 10 feet of where I was standing. And this is something that I see a lot when I'm wading. I'm able to get right up on fish. A lot of times I can sight cast right to them. It's a really great way to get up on fish and not have to worry too much about them spooking off or you being too much of a presence in their area. Now I'd say probably the last and most important reason that I wade is it forces me to slow down. When I'm in a kayak or a boat, I can use my pedals or I can use my trolling motor and I can move past a lot of fish. But when I'm wading, I know I have to move slow. I'm restricted to the speed of my feet and I'm able to work through a shoreline much more efficiently and really take my time to feel out all the different cuts, feel out all the different potholes. And I find a lot of fish that I feel like I probably would have passed up if I was on a trolling motor. Uh, a lot of times I'll make a cast every 25 feet when I'm on the motor. With the kayak, it's a little bit less than that. But with a, a wading setup and when I'm out here kind of moving through the flats on foot, I'm really able to pick through almost every angle that I could see a fish sitting in. So I really take my time working through a shoreline and it's really nice being able to pick 10, 15 fish out of a stretch of 50, 60 yards, knowing that I got every single fish out of that shoreline. So that's just something to keep in mind. If you're looking to get the most out of a fishing trip, if you really know that there's fish in an area, I'd highly recommend that you wait it. You're able to get the most out of that shoreline without spooking those fish off and you're able to hold your position a little bit better. It's real fun to pick one, two, three, four, five fish out of the same stretch of shoreline without even having to move your feet. So I definitely recommend you guys give wading a shot. I have a lot of videos on picking waders, different types of wading setups, how to plan strategies and stuff like that. Uh, but I also recommend that you check out our wade fishing mastery course that we did with Wader Dave down in Florida. And a lot of his tactics also apply to Texas, the Carolinas. He's fished just about everywhere wade fishing. Uh, and we have a lot of other awesome tips in the Salt Strong Insider Club. So if you guys want to become a better wade fisherman, I definitely recommend you guys check us out in there. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the number one online fishing club in America because we actually guarantee we're going to help you find and catch more fish, save money on tackle, and make friends fast. Or it's free. So we hope to see you in the Salt Strong Insider Club soon, and thanks again for watching.